Hey guys, it's JV with Cyber and you. And today we're going to go over how to install Docker Desktop for Windows and following the initial tutorial by Docker itself. There's a couple of steps we'll be taking and I'll be taking you through. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you have to do, and it's just a preference for me, is install Hyper-V yourself before starting Docker. Docker states it'll enable it in Windows if it's not already enabled, but I found that not always to be the case. So it's just easier to enable it beforehand by going to your Windows icon and typing turn Windows features on or off and navigating to Hyper-V and checking the box. Once you click OK, go through the installation prompt and it'll ask you to reboot the machine. Do so, and then we can continue with the installation of Docker Desktop. Now we'll be going to the Docker website and create yourself an account. Once that's accomplished, we'll have to download the Docker desktop plan itself, which will bring you to this nice little tutorial screen. From there, you'll click the Download Docker Desktop for Windows button. And that button is located in the middle of the screen, the bright blue button. It'll begin the download of Docker Desktop. And as soon as the, the download finishes, either right click and open or just double click on the executable. And that'll begin the installation. And from there, since we're going with the basics, we're just going to go ahead and do next, 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 next until that's accomplished. And then from there, we'll move on to the next step. In this step, Docker asks us to clone the Docker Git repository that Docker has made available to us. Only problem is we don't have Git installed yet. So we'll be clicking on the here option. And from there, it'll take us to the GitHub help page. And under setting up Git, we'll click the download and then install the latest version of Git. And we'll do that by clicking on Windows and waiting for the download. And then click on the executable for this video, and we'll be running through it with the defaults. So just click Next, 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 Next. Click Finish. Go to the bottom left on your Windows icon and type in PowerShell. And right click on it and run as administrator. Now go back to the Docker tutorial page and copy and paste the git clone command into the newly opened Windows PowerShell console. Let it do its thing. And once that is accomplished, you can click the next step on the Docker tutorial page and copy this new CD command into your PowerShell console. This will be how you actually create your Docker image. This will take a moment, so just sit back and relax. Now that it completed, we can move on to the final step. And that is how we make ourselves a nice little cheer. So copy that command into the Windows PowerShell console and run it. And as soon as you run it, you should be greeted with a nice little cheer right here. And if you're feeling good about what you've just done, you can move on to the final step and perform the Docker login function and share your image with the world. With that, we successfully installed Docker Desktop and ran through the beginner tutorial and you're well on your way to becoming a Docker Pro. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again.